A very warmest welcome to everyone in my new video. Guys, today we are going to talking about Central University Entrance Test. Okay, that will be conducted by NTN National Testing Agency. So we are discussing only about food and dairy technology. Okay, so there are four examination that will be conducted by CVT for food technology student. There will be four codes. Okay, for code number one, it is PGQP thirty one. Okay, the college involving. under this code that is pondicherry university and central university of punjab and the degree provided to a student that is msc food technology okay the second code is pgqp08 okay pgqp08 okay uh, pgqp08 uh, this code is attached with banaras hindu university that is called bhu okay the degree that is provided under this code is msc mtech okay msc will be provided to bsc candidate and mtech degree will be provided to btech candidate uh, either your degree is of 4 year bsc then you did not got mtech food technology 4 year bsc program is eligible to only for msc food technology okay uh, is it clear that's cool now talking about the next code that is pgq O zero eight. That is Tejpur University. The degree that is provided under this code is M Tech. Okay, and it is for engineering and technology. Now we are uh, going to talking deep about all this code. Okay, firstly uh, we are talking about the examination. Okay, what is Common University Entrance Test C U E T P G twenty twenty two? Okay, Common University Entrance Test C U E T is being introduced for admission into U G P G program in Central and participating university for the academic session. Okay, mode of examination. Okay, uh, it will be totally online based examination that is called computer based test. Okay, medium of the question will be English, Hindi, bilingual. Okay, note there will be some of the important things you should to note it in your mind. Number one, candidate can apply for only one course in a slot. The candidate should read the information bulletin carefully and identify the course and the university for which he see is applying and check the eligibility of the university where they are seeking admission. Each question paper will have hundred questions. Candidate has to choose the language English or Hindi. for general paper okay there will be 25 questions from aptitude sections and 75 questions from your original stream like you are coming from food technology background so 75 questions from food technology and their allied disciplines rest of 25 questions are from general aptitude is it clear okay so for pgqp08 only one course can be selected from the drop down list in the registration form okay marking scheme each question carries four marks there will be 100 question it means total 400 marks the for the for every particular question paper for each correct response candidate will get four marks for each incorrect response there will be negative marking keep the, keep noted this thing in your mind okay negative marking one marks will be deducted from the total score okay i think everything will be clear now we are moving forward and uh, eligibility and qualification okay age limit for appearing in the cvt pc 2020 there is no age limit for the candidates the candidate who have passed the bachelor degree equivalent examination or appearing in 2022 irrespective of their age can appear in cvt pc 2022 examination so there will be three three step uh, you will be completed your application form the first is register registration form where you will be register register yourself and then moving forward to the application form where where you putting your educational qualification your background everything and then fee payment okay so moving forward and just see in that things important dates fee details for common university entrance test okay now for general category a student okay if you are from india okay if you are from india for general category so 800 fee will be genuine okay if you are going to add up one more paper one uh, next one paper like if you are selecting pgqp 31 okay that is for pondicherry university and central university of punjab but you wanted to also choose one more paper and you are uh, use and then you should to pay 200 rupees okay so if you are from obc okay and uh, obc non criminal year general ews whatever you are okay so 600 rupees the original fee for any paper and if you are going to add up any one more paper where you are going to appearing in the examination then you should to pay 150 rupees more is it clear uh, okay so moving forward and now there center okay uh, there will be a event and details uh, the examination will be of 2 hours 120 minutes okay two shifting type of examination in shift 1 it will be from 10 am to 12 noon and in shift 2 it will be from 3 pm to 5 pm okay and this and this particular application form will be coming in the month of june and ended in july so keep this thing in your mind okay so uh, we are talking everything uh, now talking deeply about every paper okay so the test paper code pgqp31 The degree provided under this code is MSc. Paper pattern: the number of question will be hundred. 
and divided into two parts part a and part b part a include 25 questions including language comprehension verbal ability general knowledge mathematical and quantitative ability part b question domain knowledge like food engineering dairy technology food technology the university appearing under this code is pondicherry university central university of punjab what is the eligibility criteria that is the most important thing uh, three year and four year program eligible to get admission into pondicherry and central university of punjab okay that's nice and now eligibility bachelor's degree in food and nutrition food technology food science clinical nutrition and dietetics of composite general home science biochemistry biotechnology microbiology chemistry agriculture dairy fisheries at bsc bms with a minimum of 55 percent marks bsc b in agriculture agricultural engineering food technology home science so that is the eligibility criteria now what are the syllabus under this pgqp 31 so these are the syllabus okay now i'm scroll down uh, to that page and you will be easily noted it down in your copy or take a screenshot okay so the first introduction to food science and technology then cereal and pulses fruit and vegetable chocolate and cocoa product milk and milk product egg meat fish and poultry sugar fat and oils introduction to food hygiene and food adulteration now in basic baking technology wheat grain technology cake technology pastry technology introduction to food safety and preservation food safety principle and method of preservation fruit and vegetable processing advanced baking technology bread technology biscuit and cookies technology food packaging marketing and cost control advanced fruit and vegetable preservation technology dehydration and concentration refrigeration and freezing canning introduction to new food product development food safety hygiene and quality testing food law and regulation food quality management management introduction to food safety and hygiene hygiene and sanitation in food service institutions sensory method of food quality testing objective method of food quality testing now talking about dairy technology from banaras hindu university this course is only for dairy technology student okay now degree degree that is msc mtech uh, under under this uh, program msc mtech dairy technology only four year graduation uh, a student are eligible to take admission into Banaras Hindu University under this course. Okay, only four year program. I am not going to talking about three year program. So keep noted this thing in your mind. Three year BSc Food Technology will not get eligible to take admission in Banaras Hindu University. Okay, so degree that is MSc MTech. The code is PGQP08. Okay, and it is Dairy Technology and the paper pattern. The number of questions will be hundred divided into two parts as always. Okay, part A twenty five questions, aptitude and seventy five from your original domain. Okay, eligibility. Uh, you are passing your tenth class, your twelfth class, and four year graduate. That is very essential. Okay, candidate with BTEC Dairy Technology, um, BSc Dairy Technology, Dairy Dairy Science, Food Technology, Food Science. Okay, uh, so these are the eligibility criteria. You should note this thing in your mind. And the minimum CGPA that is six out of ten. That is mandatory. Now syllabus for Dairy Technology PGQP zero eight. Okay, so Milk Production Management and Dairy Development, Introduction to Dairy Microbiology. Okay, now uh, Marketing Milk, Dairy Engineering, Fat Rich Milk Product, Condensed and Dried Milk. Okay. Fermented milk product, uh, traditional dairy products, condensed and dried milk, fermented milk product, traditional dairy product, ice cream and frozen milk product, dairy byproduct, packaging and sensory of milk and milk product, quality assurance of dairy product. Okay, now talking about food technology from Pranas Hindu University. Okay, if you are uh, coming from a food technology background, like you are doing your BSc, okay, BSc that is a four-year program, and BTech food technology that is a four-year program. If you are wanted to get admission into Pranas Hindu University, so uh, you are you are coming from four year of graduation. Okay, either you are from BTech or BSc. Four year is mandatory. Three year course will be not get admission into BHU. Keep this thing noted in your mind. Okay. So paper pattern. The number of questions will be hundred and divided into two parts as always. Part A twenty five questions that will be quantitative aptitude and part B that uh, will be coming from your domain. Like if you are from food technology, the question you will be got here from food technology background only. Okay. The university appearing under this code PGQP zero eight. Okay. Banaras Hindu University eligibility candidate with four year BSc Agriculture, BSc Honours Agriculture, BSc uh, Food Technology, Food Science, B Tech Food Technology. Okay. So these things and the minimum uh, CGPA. Okay, the minimum CGPA is six out of ten. Note the student coming with BTEC degree will get MTEC. Okay, it will be properly mentioned. And degree and BSc and BSc Agriculture B work will get MSc degree. That's that's cool, nice. So what are the syllabus of PGQP? Zero eight. Food technology, food packaging, food microbiology, cereal pulses and oil seed, food chemistry and additives, dairy technology, fruit and vegetable, meat, fish and poultry, food processing, food safety, food engineering. That are the things. Okay, not talking about PGQP zero eight. Okay. PGQP 08 M Tech degree from Tejpur University. Okay, so. 
पेपर पैटर्न द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी हंड्रेड एंड डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट पार्ट ए ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन ओके दैट विल बी फ्रॉम एप्टीट्यूड एंड पार्ट बी सेवेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर डोमेन नॉलेज लाइक फूड टेक्नोलॉजी एलिजिबिलिटी बी ई बी टेक एम एस सी इन फूड इंजीनियरिंग एंड ऑल टेक्नोलॉजी एग्रीकल्चर इंजीनियरिंग केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी डेयरी ओके सो दीज आर द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया ऑल्सो कैंडिडेट मस्ट है मैथमेटिक्स एट टेन प्लस टू ओके सो कीप नोटेड दिस थिंक इन योर माइंड now what are the syllabus in tejpur university entrance test pgqp 008 sorry 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 the code for uh, tejpur university is pgqp 008 not pgqp 08 pgqp 08 for banaras university okay and pgqp 08 for tejpur university now talking about tejpur university entrance test pattern okay section 1 food chemistry and nutrition next section um, food microbiology characteristics of microorganism food product technology processing principle and the last is food engineering so these are the things uh, in cuet examination central university entrance test pg so if you having any doubt related to this video particular video uh, for food technology so please uh, comment your question below okay so thank you very much to watching my video share this video with your friends to know about that examination so thank you very much